let it cool down a bit. Dump in some water. You have to be very careful with these kind of steels that you don't you overheat them because then you'll start hardening them or ruining the hardening, I think, when you do it later. So I've got my calipers, it's just over 3mm, I've got my calipers set to 1.53 and then dragging them over the edge to give me an approximate centre line so we can crack on doing the the bezels. Oh, come on. Oh, that's it. Oh, And I've decided I want five of them little grips. So what I'm looking for, or trying, is to make sure these blocks on the top
So the uh, the template design calls for, I think it's called a Recaro. This uh, Recaro is bent. Now I ain't got a clue how to do that, so I ain't even going to bother. I'm just going to do a straight one and then the rest of the bevel. Um, so, <laughs> there's, there's nothing for it, let's just crack on with it. Right, so I've decided to go big or go home. Try it, sod it.
I'm not there yet. A bit of a cock up there. We're at the limit here, so I can't go any farther. Further. I'm about half a millimetre away from my line, apart from a bit on the end there. But yeah, I'm getting the feel for it. Slowly but surely. It's starting to look like something now. And yeah, going too slight there, just starting to some of the high points on the belt, just starting to clip it. But um Yeah, we're getting there. I'm trying to do a Recaro, I'm sure it's called a Recaro line, straight up. So we'll see how it goes. Um my lines are pretty nearly parallel. There's a tiny chunky fat bit there at the top. But uh, time for a coffee and a fag. <laughs>